Y'all watching Knicks Fan TV. Alright, I was promised. I was promised we talk about folks. I've been waiting patiently. Oh yes. And now I, I had to call in so we could talk about folks. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because right I want to go to bed at some stage. All right. Appreciate it. Appreciate Alex Collins <laughs> right, so. moving the show along. Let's go. Yeah, I kind of already talked to you guys already. I kind of want to hear your perspectives on yeah. the fault situation, um, uh, particularly J. J. Ellis, because I haven't really heard I haven't really heard his opinion at all, to be honest. Uh, so you two, go ahead. All right, J. Ellis, guy, what, what's your take on the fault situation? Oh, man. I've been flip-flopping on the, on the fault thing, to be honest with you, because I understand that he's a number one pick. I understand that Fizz is like the, 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 the guard whisperer. You know what I'm saying? But I... I know we have guards here already, and I want to see what we do with them before we take on another wayward guard. I do understand the Knicks, Knicks fans, you know, right. want, wanting to happen here because, you know, our guard situation isn't really 100% either. <laughs> so, so I understand, and he shows some potential. He had like a triple double last season. Yeah. But, um, I ultimately, I still want to see what we have with our guards. I wish we. I wish we had, I wish we actually had more time to like evaluate before and like yeah. get him maybe towards the more latter end of the year maybe to see okay we're gonna keep this person we're gonna trade this person, but um that that's that's my feeling on well, and, and on top of that too he has a lot of you, questions with talk- his mind, his shoulder and his there's a lot of question yeah. marks there man go ahead there's Alex a lot of weird question marks my bad go ahead when when you when you talk about evaluating the guards, which guards specifically are you talking about? Like, who is going to be here past this season? That's, like, I feel like we rank. have, like, Lee is what he, who he is. Like, he's, if anything, he's going to decline. Um, who? You have Courtney Lee. Burke, who... Oh, I'm not talking about Courtney Lee. Courtney Lee, yeah. I'm not talking about Courtney Lee at yeah, all. Yeah, but that's, I'm asking who specifically... Like, oh. I feel like if you talk about people who are relevant to seasons past this season... That list gets an awful lot shorter of guards that you need to evaluate. It's really only yeah, a list I'm, of I'm, about I'm four people. Frank, I'm talking about Frank Moody and Burke. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about those three guys. Frank Moody yeah. and Burke. Frank, but like even, uh, he, he showed even promise. Even Burke guys tend to be like... Huh? Go ahead. Even, even Burke, I'd be kind of questioning if he kind of just is what he is now at this stage. Like, you know, he, he's 26, I think. Yeah, um, nice. He's kind of like he has he he has improved. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm I'm not a person. I I feel like I come across a bit like a hater of Trey Burke. I'm really not. Nah. Uh, um, like I just feel like he's limited. Yeah. I, you know he works he works his ass off, and I I applaud him for that. It's just he's he's small. You know, he can't defend, and he's a bit tunnel vision. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I he's mean, got sticky hands. I I think for me when I first saw this um come out. You know, at first, my first reaction on Twitter, many people saw, was if we could get Lee out of here, which has been, you know, the toughest thing to do for the last two years, and I would do it. But at the flip side, yeah, yeah, but then (laughs) then I'm reading this Bleacher Report article, and this dude Fultz is due to make nine million next year, and then if you pick up his player option, he's due to make twelve in the year after that. Well, you're really you're taking on a prospect. You're taking on like a, a prospect. That you're hoping turns into something. It's too big, and you're basically just creating like three million in in cap space, which isn't a whole lot. Like we we need to clear a lot more than that if we want to sign a max. Yeah, uh, free agents. So it, it, it's, um, it's, I, it's like it's I don't think that's a gamble, whole... man. It, he's got that. He's got you know. Some people in the league are saying that the shoulder thing is not physical; it's a mental thing. And if that if it's a mental thing, there's no way that we need to take this on. It's too much of a gamble. I don't care. You, you, the kid was just a number one pick I, last he, year. He can't be in the... We, we, like, Nick fans, we savage our own guys. Like, like you hear people in the like, calling in and in the chat talking about Knox, who's, like, 19, barely 19. He turned 19, I think. I think it was only, like, two weeks before the season started he yeah. turned 19 the second youngest player in the NBA. And people are already talking about he's a bum. We need to trade him. Yeah, that's that instant gratification, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. crazy. But see, this kid is yeah, different. And then when this kid is different, man, because it's like this thing could be a, a physical thing. 
It could, did you see how he was doing the foul shot? J. Ellis, he was doing it like it was yeah, a hot it, potato, bro. It was crazy. But the thing, you know what it is, too, man? Like, he was a baller in college, man. Yeah, but... The, like, we, I did, we, 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 we did, like, a like a draft episode, and it was, he was a unanimous number one. It was, like, a no-brainer. He was supposed to be the no-brainer. And then, I don't know what happened. There was rumors that he had, like, a motorcycle. Yeah, accident. that's what people were telling me on the gram, that it was a motorcycle yeah. accident that messed him up. So, and it's, it's 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 so unclear. It's all it's so unclear what's going on with this guy. So I mean, there's the money issue. There's the, the time issue. Who you got? We got to put our eggs in some basket at some point. Facts. You can't develop everybody, every point guard ever, and expect everybody to develop properly because people need minutes to develop. <laughs> yeah, that. My my opinion on the whole thing is uh, like I don't I don't think it's feasible that we guess. I don't. I just don't see how we could work out a trade that both benefits us and benefits Philly. Um, like we're talking about Courtney Lee, who like I really do like love Courtney Lee, but like yeah, he's, he's literally not played this season with this injury, shadow injury, whatever it is. He's he's thirty three. Like he's a pretty good defender. He's not brilliant. Uh, he he shoots foul shots historically well, but he never gets to the line. Uh, he only has a, like one or two attempts per game, I think. Uh, he's a pretty good three point shooter, but like I, I just don't see the value. Like like you said, we've yeah. been trying to trade him for two years. And still can't do it. I'm like I'm sure that they were kind of still can't do it. Yeah, the the uh, expiring contract is worth a lot more than Courtney Courtney Lee's contract right now. Like just uh, having the cap space in 2019, this big yeah. free agent. Uh, yeah. Bonanza that's coming. It's just it's more valuable. On my show, so, uh, I said, I, said I, I think <laughs> like I like Will. I like Will. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said on my show. I talked about it on my show. I said straight for Wilson Chandler and cut him. That's what I. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But but um, what I think like is probably false. He should just. I think he's like destined to go to the Suns or the Cavs or the Magic. Yeah, one of those teams they could probably they probably have these like even like the likes of like just I'm just throwing out a name but like a Nikola Vucevic or something from mm. the Magic if they know he's leaving. Yeah, right. You know right, right. why don't you just pick up a flyer flyer on fault like because yeah. these you have DJ Augustine you're not going forward with DJ much, Augustine much better offers you know so like I, I could just yeah. much better offers yeah like there's and, just and, so much better offers on yeah. other teams like yeah um so I, like I think. Like, he'll probably end up in, like, Phoenix. They'll probably move him for, like, Josh Jackson and Trevor Reza. And they'll probably send someone with Ooh, Hulk. That's, that's a big that's, Maybe that's a crazy. That's a big Hell trade. And Josh Jackson. Can, that's you know. crazy. He can, he can go out to the middle of the middle of the desert and rehab out and hide from Wait, the, the world outside out. for a while. Out. Get his head clear. No, I don't think so, Jay. I don't, oh, I, don't think so. I was about to say. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't really think no, there's anything no, hot right it's now. It's all speculation. But like, but seriously though, if you had a choice, who, who like if you go into the playoffs, who would you rather? Would you rather Courtney Lee or would you rather Trevor Reza? Oh, Trevor like Reza. Trevor Reza's shooting. I think Trevor Reza's shooting like about forty-five percent. He's yeah, definitely about thirty-five percent from three, which is league average. He's played. He's played all seventeen of the Suns games, and he's. I think he's scoring 10 points a game, whereas Courtney Lee hasn't bounced the ball in months. Yeah. You know? and, and imagine imagine so Elton like, Brand, the GM of the Sixers, and they ask him, well, what did you bring back for this for this number one pick who was a bust just last year? Oh, I, I got you a 33-year-old Courtney Lee. <laughs> Yo, they run him out of Philly, man. Philly's not that. <laughs> you can't play around yeah, like that in Philly, people, man. People what don't think like, like Elton. Elton Brand needs to say face in this because it's going to look really bad if, like, well, it's been less than 18 months since they drafted him. Yeah. Like, he, he needs to say face. He can't get nothing back in return. That's and Lee is pretty bad. much nothing at the moment. That's, 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 you know, know. like, they need to get back a pick. No, he's not. Yeah. I don't know. But, um, they, like, like, I think they want to move on from Josh Jackson. But they have, uh, Macabre Bridges there, so uh, I think that that's potentially feasible. But that's just me spitballing. But I just I just don't see it happening with the Knicks, and you wouldn't want that for Fultz because like he's yeah, it's the worst place he could come. Is yeah, the New York. there's no way, man. With this the media, is not the, the place, man. Fans and 
you know, like yeah, like MSG is the mecca. You like players come and they bring their A game. Like you, you're going to have like Russell Westbrook come into the yeah. garden and wanting to put on a show, and then you're asking Fultz to guard. Like it's that's not going to do any good. Hell he no. needs to go someplace small. Like I send him to Sac, I send him to Sacramento, but they're like a dumpster fire. You know, then then, then, yeah. then <laughs> somewhere that's like Fox is bowling. Fox is bowling. Fox is bowling. Fox is bowling. Fox is bowling right now. Though. Nah, man, imagine that in the press conference. El- Elton Brand, what'd you bring us back from Markel Fultz? Uh, shit. I got you, Courtney Lee. <laughs> I mean, right now, he should be begging nah. for Courtney Lee for Markel Fultz. Nah, Not man. Like Markel Fultz. You can't, you can't come high. back to the hood on that trade, bro. You got to get something Yo, respectable. Where is he going? You respectable you for Markel get Fultz right now? For an $8 million dollar player who has a bad shoulder and, and, and mind problems? Yeah, that's crazy. I, I don't crazy. know, man. It's just, it's just not the gamble we want to take. We don't want to take that gamble. It's not the salary we want to take on for that gamble. You know, we can't afford it, man. We we can't afford it. We need to be penny pinching. We're trying to get under the count, you know, get the salary cap proper. We can't take on a kid that might be owed twelve million dollars in two years. And if you know, I don't even know what's twelve million dollars. Yeah, it, it goes up to it right eight. now. Right now it's eight. But his That's third crazy. year option. It's the same thing with Dotson. His third year option, not the money wise, but you know the decision that has to be made to either trade him or 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 what. The third year option is at twelve million dollars. Yeah. He's the number one pick. Yeah, damn. That oh yeah, that's definitely no damn. Yeah, that's that's twelve no million dice. dollars for twelve million dollars for maybe not though. We can't we can, we uh, a team like us we can we need we need yeah, short we need things. We need we need, we need short things, man. We we need short things. We we can't afford to take that gamble, man.